Thanks for making the Locked On Ole Miss podcast your first listen every day. We're free and available wherever you get your podcast, including YouTube. Subscribe there for us. We're part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team, every day. Or more importantly, Ole Miss every day. Hey, this is the normal show every week. We have Pratt Rogers. He's here, and we're joined this week by Ashanti Seastrunk. Ashanti, how are you doing, man? I'm good, you know. Summer workouts, we've been grinding, getting that. Well, um, what just for people that don't know, uh, I was a video coordinator like 15 years ago in the Manning Center, um, so I've okay. seen it a little bit. But but you can tell people what what do you do during summer workouts? Let people know what a normal summer workout is. Uh, summer workout, you know, we divide up into groups, and then each group we start with stretching, like 15 minute stretch. Then we do field work. Every day is a different, like one day might be speed, agility work, and the next day conditioning. And then we go into the weight room right after. I got to ask immediately, what are you throwing up on the bench press? I got to ask it. What, what are you doing on the on bench? 350. <laughs> 350. Good Lord, man. That's yeah. awesome. That's like three of Pratt. Man, it's, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish I was that skinny, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, man, that's great, that's a lot, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. All right, well, your linebacker, I think um, Pete Golding coaches the linebackers, so you probably have a closer relationship than a lot of people do. What, what is Pete Golding like on the field? Uh, it's, it's, it's so amazing to have Pete because he's so smart, like he knows the game like better than anybody else and like just being in a room with him you'll see that the knowledge is spread throughout the room like everybody has the knowledge like we know everything offenses will do everything and like his knowledge is contagious it's just crazy like it's hard to explain it <laughs> i know everybody's fired up about that oh i'm sorry steven i, I was no, gonna go say ahead. ashanti is he pretty high intensity a lot of the like uh reports you see online is he's very hands-on coach how is that in comparison to previous coaches you've had even at the high school level um i've always had a hands-on coach so it's pretty normal to me but it's definitely fun having your coach right there with you like teaching you drills like everything he asks us to do he shows like he's able to show it like he can do it himself so that's pretty cool yeah, that's a great leader. You know, what is it like? No, like they hit the transfer portal fairly hard, and they hit a lot of defensive linemen. They hit a lot of defensive backs, but not many linebackers. That's probably a nice little confidence boost boost for what y'all did during spring, and kind of lets you know what you can have going forward. And I, I wonder what 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 you think about that. Uh, it just goes to show that you know we're. We are pretty good in the linebacker room. Like, everybody has been contributing. Nobody just, like, behind. Say, say that last part one more time, Ashanti. You kind of broke up on me, at least. Say that one more time. I was saying, like, it shows that we are pretty good in the linebacker room, that everybody has been contributing. And, like, nobody's getting left behind or under underachieving. I should say. So, yeah, yeah, well, tell me, tell me about the linebacker room. I mean, are y'all a pretty tight knit group? I, uh, I imagine that'd be pretty fun to go to work with the same handful of guys every day. But how's that experience been? Oh uh, yeah, it's fun. <laughs> We're full of character. Everybody has their own nickname and everything. We try to go out to eat together uh, at least once a week. Where's the go-to spot? Uh, it's either Bam Bams and Oscar or Chick Fil A. Two, two okay. good ones. All right. So, oh, yeah. is there any story? Um, how is how is Suntarian Perkins doing in um, summer workouts? Is is he impressing? Does he look like he has a little juice? Yeah, actually, all of the freshmen have been looking good. Like this is a very complex defense, so I didn't too much expect them to all learn it like straight off the bat because it was hard for us to just learn it. But they've been making strides, and they, they it's promising. It looks very promising. 
Yeah, that's great. Well, look, I think Stephen was, I was going to steal Stephen's question. Give us a good story about, uh, you know, inside the locker room, something funny, maybe something golden came in with first day or good Lane Kiffin story or even great linebacker story. Just tell us something funny that that's happened at practice. Um, <laughs> I really can't can think repeat that... it. It's, it's G rated. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like everything I, I think of, I can't, I can't say it on there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fair. But every day is funny. Every day, <laughs> like the team is so, full of characters, the coaches, characters, everybody making jokes all throughout the day. But at times, we know we don't lock in and get the job done. You know, um, I, th- I think you're in your fifth or sixth year, right, Ashanti, because of the COVID year. Yeah. Um, so this is this is kind of your money year, your getaway year to um, to get to the NFL. Uh, any specific goals that you're trying to accomplish this year in Oxford? Uh, this year, I'm just trying to do, do what I have to do to make the team better and get us where we need to go. As far as personal goals, though, I've been trying to work on my leadership skills. You know, I'm not so much as a vocal leader. I want to be that, but. I'm more of a lead by example type of guy. So, you know, I've been working on that. Like I've tried to go to camps, you know, lead the little kids in the high school camps and try to work on that through that way. But I've been making strides. You know, um, I'm gonna take your spot right here real quick, Pat. Um, when I was at Ole Miss, Patrick Willis was there and he was very much a lead by example guy. He was not a vocal guy. Now, when he talked, you listened, but he was definitely a lead by example guy. And if you do that well, that's probably almost better than the rah rah guy, in my opinion. All right. I can agree with that. <laughs> I can agree. But I just want to be more vocal, you know? Well, Shanti, talking about being a leader and an upperclassman, tell me, what do you think about all the, the wild, wild west of being a high school recruit right now? And how does that compare to? to your high school experience, you know, and being, being recruited. How does, I mean, is it even comparable? How does that, I mean, how does that it's not equate? Comparable at all, so. <laughs> it's not comparable at all. The NIL, it's changed it completely. <laughs> like it's so much like free agency right now. <laughs> it, Are y'all absolutely. Go ahead. I was going to say, are y'all seeing a lot of, um, a lot of, you know, are y'all hosting, being an upperclassman, hosting a lot of people, and are you plugged into the recruiting side as much, or is that, you know, uh, primarily the staffers and kind of the young, uh, underclassmen? Um, it's been majority underclassmen, and, like, I'm not really plugged into the recruiting side or anything. Like, yeah. I'm more of a, when you get here, <laughs> then I'm going to bring you in. Type then of we're going to be you know? boys, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah they were boys. <laughs> All right, fun fact, Ashanti. Um, you're from Louisville, right? Louisville, Mississippi, yes, sir. Okay, I'm from McGee and played at McGee High School. I was on the McGee High School football team in 1993 that played against Mon Nicholson and Morris Scott. And our quarterback that day, he probably still has PTSD from Morris Scott coming off the edge on him. And that's whenever we knew not to mess with Louisville. Oh, yeah. Louisville, we not to mess with, man. <laughs> I don't even know because we got it anymore. It's so many. Steven, you mentioned you were playing in 1993, man. You're putting an age on yourself, old guy. Oh, oh man. I, I am so old. <laughs> I'm I'm so old. It's also probably surprising that I'm streaming. I was a, I was a place kicker, but in McGee, Mississippi, in high school football in Mississippi, a good place kicker was like an alien came down in McGee. I had newspaper articles written about me, and this this guy was walking around. I did nothing. I did. I, I know that I did nothing. But I'm walking around with a head like that big around because every week I was doing something for the McGee Courier. Because they haven't seen anything. I was like, I made like 55 extra points in a row, and you'd have thought I cured cancer. Well, Steven, you're probably throwing up 350 on the bench like Sis Drunk over here, right? At high school, right? It's maybe in three yeah. sets. <laughs> yeah, maybe in three sets. I love that. Yeah. 
That's awesome. <laughs> no, seriously, whenever bitch? I was... Yeah, Pratt, what are you, bitch? Oh, probably buck 30, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> hey, when I was in high school, my senior in high school, I was six foot two, 145 pounds. I was as skinny as they come, man. Yeah. Oh, wow. Speaking of a white boy, I can imagine Ray, it. But... Ashanti, what? I mean, what did you come in at, and what do you, you know, what are your dimensions now, being in an SEC weightlifting program for as long as you've been? I mean, that's that's kind of the real deal. About like Stephen, I came in my senior year of high school. I was six one, one ninety five. And now I'm six one and two thirty. <laughs> wow! Like my first year, my first year I blew up to two fifteen. Well, I came in January of twenty nineteen, and by August I was two fifteen. <laughs> like I blew up fast. It, it happens. Um, I went to um, boot camp when I was like twenty two years old. But I went to boot camp at 160 pounds, and two months later when I graduated, I was 200 even. I gained 40 pounds of just pure rock muscle in two months. Like, I, I had trouble swimming oh, yeah. I put on so much muscle. I would just See, jump in the pool and sink. That's funny. My freshman year of college, I ran into a problem where I was putting on a lot of weight, and it was not a lot of muscle, and I was probably yeah. floating, floating in a pool, <laughs> Steven, not swimming, yeah. Hey, Shanti, I got a, a question for you. Um, Jeremiah Jean Patisse, Monty Montgomery just came in. How, how how did they look in the spring? They look pretty good. Like I was saying earlier, everybody, nobody's left behind. Everybody is looking good. Like I'm looking forward to this season when we all when we all put it together. Like it's going to be amazing. I can't wait for it. It should be pretty interesting when y'all put the ball down against Mercer. I'm telling you, it, I, I'm pretty excited about this yeah. year because I think, I, in my opinion, I look at it like the Phil. St I'm about to give you a little bit of rat poison, so I apologize about that. But Phil <laughs> Steele rated the um, offensive units, and Ole Miss was in the top ten in quarterback, running back, and offensive line, and they were the top twenty in wide receiver. And if that doesn't get you excited. I mean, all you guys have to do is get the ball back for the offense and let those guys work. Hey, I've got higher expectations for yeah. Shanti than that. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, I got, <laughs> I got – my expectations are through the roof for this squad. Yeah. I'm oh, pretty, yeah. We, we, we will let you now. We let you now. <laughs> so, um, at the end of spring, were you running ones or twos, or was it just that everybody was running everything? Uh, we were rotating. We were all rotating. How's that been, kind of bringing in new guys? I know you mentioned everybody's cool with everybody and all that, but how is that, you know, rotating with, with everybody? Is that kind of a system y'all are used to, or is that kind of a Golding thing or Kiffin thing? Um, It's really what I'm used to. Like, we always rotate it a lot, so it's nothing new, really. What, what what about a couple of the young guys like Trip White and Tyler Banks? How, how are they as players? Because I don't think the Ole Miss fan base has heard much about them. Uh, they're progressing also. Like they've mm -hmm. been in they've been in the midst. Too. Yeah, I saw them in a couple of post practice reports um, as they came out this past spring. So I just thought I'd, if I had you on here, I was going to ask the question, right? Yeah, you got you. <laughs> I got to ask, too, while we're talking, uh, talk, talking, um, you know, SEC and uh, weightlifting and condition, strength and conditioning, who's the fastest guy on, on the uh, defensive side of the ball? And then I'll ask linebacker because that's, that's not 100. Yeah, that's not 100 percent fair. Is it really, Prince? I, I saw somewhere where uh, there's yeah, a great account called, called like SEC Speed Freaks or something like that. And I think. Prince yeah. was clocked at like, I want to say it's like 22 miles an hour or something crazy like that. It's a great account yeah. if you don't follow it. I'm expecting to see you up there next, big guy. What, what about the what about oh, the yeah. linebacker room? Uh, the fastest in the linebacker room. Yeah. You're asking who's the fastest. Yours true. Uh, I, figured. Yours true. I figured. I I, I knew that was gonna come. <laughs> uh, 
So whenever y'all get into July, does summer workouts change a little bit or is it the same thing basically in June and July or is it a progression? Um, It's going to be more field work. Focus. I think we're going to tone it down a little in the um, weight room and more so focus on the field work and position specific drills and stuff. Okay. But Mental. out of the... I'll see when it comes. Oh, go, um, go ahead, ahead Stephen. Um, which of the transfer defensive backs um, have stuck out for you? I know you practice with some, and some have been added after spring, so you haven't seen them other than summer workouts. But like transfer DBs, which one stands out to you? Um, Zamari, Walton, and Gabby—they've been standing out to me. They've been looking okay. pretty good out there. That, that's great. Like I'm still you. trying to get everybody. The most recent ones, I'm still trying to get everybody name. Like <laughs> we added it's so still, many people. It's hard to remember try, the names so to fast. Out, figure out names. That's tough, man. Yeah. I can't imagine how much yeah. how much y'all got going on with you know the transfer influx uh, from last year. I mean, that's a lot it, it, for existing teammates and you know new teammates. Definitely, like, <laughs> I still have to ask, ask people their name, even though they told me two days ago or something. It, it, it makes sense. It makes sense. All right, before we let you out of here, um, quarterback position, what's your thoughts on it? Because that there, there's some talent in that room now, man. You said quarterback, right? Quarterback, yeah, like Jackson Dar, Spencer Sanders, all those yeah. guys. <laughs> I don't know, honestly. Everybody has equal success against the defense, so it's really like we're just as clueless as everybody else. We have no clue <laughs> how it's going to end. Hey, is is Austin Simmons uh, um, in Oxford yet? Uh, no, not yet. He's not there yet? Okay. Uh-uh, no. Well, Shanti, I appreciate it, man. That's all I got for you. I know we were kind of popcorning with you today, but yeah. uh, I really, I really, really enjoy the time getting to know you. And uh, like I said, I appreciate uh, appreciate getting to know you on here. Oh yeah, likewise. It was it was nice, nice talking with you guys. All right, thanks for making the Locked On Ole Miss podcast your first listen every day. We're free and available wherever you get your podcast, including YouTube. We're part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. More importantly, Ole Miss every day. We do want to thank Ashanti Seastrunk for stopping by, and we'll see you next time, Ashanti. I hope we can do this again. Oh, yeah, definitely. Anytime. All right. Appreciate it, buddy. See ya. All right. No problem. See you.